Yes, they deserve 21st century pet health products today. They're your best friends. Tell them Larry say. And now with the Minetti Movie Report, here is our own Will Link. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. That's what I deserve. That's absolutely the, it. Um, You're looking for this one here. No. That, no, I don't think we're looking for any of these. <laughs> we're done. We're done. Go ahead, um, hey, So Eric. this week I saw the uh, zombie, as I said, the zombie romantic comedy, Warm Bodies. You guys zombie movie fans? I'm a huge I love zombie them. fan. Yeah, yeah. I, did, I mean, I, it was George Romero's birthday yesterday, so it got me oh. thinking about all the great ones. Oh, Night wow. of the Living Dead, yeah. Dawn of the Dead. Those yeah. were great. And I appreciate any zombie film that tries to do something a little different than the genre that isn't just, uh, you know, something a little more clever than just the typical zombies trying to eat brains. <laughs> and this one, this one does do that because this one's about a zombie named R, because that's basically all he can say, R. R. So R. he's named R, and he... Uh, meets this girl, basically. It's kind of like zombie Romeo and Juliet. He meets this girl who's out on a mission to get, like, medicine stuff for her group of people who are survivors and stuff. And she's so beautiful. She's played by Teresa Palmer, and her name's Julie. Again, the Romeo and Juliet kind of thing. And he falls for her, and she kind of starts her, like, uh, seeing her kind of gets his heart beating again. And it becomes this idea of... Can these zombies learn to be human again? Wow. Which she believes, but her father, played by John Malkovich, in one of those kind Aww. of over-the-top Malkovich kind of villainy roles, he, you know, he doesn't believe, he believes all the zombies should be killed and everything. He doesn't think they can learn to be human again. So I thought it was a lot of fun. It was sweet. It was funny. It's not necessarily the best zombie film because they don't deal with a lot of uh, how the zombie, how they became zombies, oh, sure. how the real mechanics of cure. But as far as like a comedy and a romantic comedy, even I thought it really worked. Who directed this? This is directed by a guy Jonathan Levine. Uh, this is a third feature. He's a young filmmaker. His last film was Fifty Fifty with yeah. Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Seth Rogen, which I thought was phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, and again, this is something a little different. He keeps doing films in a little bit different genre. So oh, good for I'm him. I'm curious to see where he goes. And uh, the main zombie R is played by Nicholas Holt. You might remember him as the young kid all those years back in About a Boy about 10 years yes, ago. Yes, yes. And uh, now he was he was recently in an X-Men movie. So his career's on the upswing. And this was a big role for him. And it was a pretty challenging role because the first half of this movie, which I think is the best stuff. It's the funniest stuff. It's a lot of voiceover, and it's a lot of him just kind of staggering around. And, <laughs> and you know, he's got to portray a lot. Like, he's got to portray falling in love with this girl, but not really moving all that much and stuff. So I give him a lot of credit. He did a hell of a job. Sounds like so, a fun movie. It's just a good time. So so zombie rom-com. Do you think Mel Melkovich was on top of his game? Because... Usually he doesn't do movies like that. He's usually it's like a heady, he does a really heady kind of movie. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but God bless him. But yeah, I mean, was he like really I mean, exciting? I think he. It's the kind of role that you know. I feel like you could, Malkovich's presence alone adds so much to the character. It's probably a very underwritten villainy character. Who then, he's a villain, but I mean, he's also kind of not, because you understand where he's coming yeah. from. But I think he brought a lot of energy to that Well, I'm part. a father. I'm, I'm with him on the whole getting rid of the zombies thing. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I'd want my daughter dating a, a exactly. zombie. We don't want these know. undead knocking on our door. So yeah. were you a zombie when you left, or were you excited? I was excited. I had a good time with it. Like I said, I give it a thumbs up. It's well, right. the, you know, the zombie movies uh, never really died out, but they definitely have a resurgence, of, a resurgence of course, World War Z. It's uh, coming out this coming year. Out this year. It's gonna, yeah. That's going to be a huge... Huge, a huge blockbuster, yeah. I'm guessing. The right Walking the Dead. The Walking Dead, walking dead huge, is huge. Yeah, and that absolutely. comes back this Sunday, and I'm very excited. Yeah. Now, I was a big fan of the 28 Days Later franchise of movies, that zombie series as well. What was so, the I mean, name of this film you were 
one's warm bodies. Warm, warm bodies. Yeah. But um, it, the, it, it doesn't quite beat what I think is the ultimate zombie romantic comedy, Shaun of the Dead. Shaun Have of you the, seen Shaun of the Dead? Absolutely. That's, yeah. That is an amazing zombie film. Never it's even ve- heard of it. Very funny. It was a British film a few years it back. Was excellent. Yeah, very excellent. funny. The, film. the action scenes are quite are not to be missed in that movie. Absolutely. And it's yeah. just a lot of laughs. <laughs> weren't uh, the drive in movies years ago, weren't they big zombie pictures? Yeah, well, that's, I mean, that, we kind of miss the old drive ins. Yeah. You know, I used to love them. I used to love the drive-ins. I've seen Superman at the drive-in theater, and it was so cool. My parents, they Ah. snuck all kinds of food in the trunk. That's right. You You go in your pajamas. Yeah, you go in your pajamas. (laughs) Yeah, you fall asleep in the back of the car. Yeah, you got your blankie and pillow. Oh, it's great time. I think especially like zombie films and horror films really kind of suited themselves for a drive-in experience. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. Brings back so, memories. Yeah. So Warm Bodies will link. Uh, I'll give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay, so thumbs be sure up. to check it out, yeah. Warm, Warm Bodies. Yeah. Well, we yeah, got definitely. some good films coming. You've got um, The Great and Powerful Oz Yeah, coming that's coming out. next oh, month. And that's going to be huge. Yeah. Wow. yeah. And uh, next week, as we were talking about last week on the show, next week, I'm going to give my Oscar picks. I'm going to try to help people win their Oscar. Silver Ooh. linings, silver linings. Hey, it's I'm going to be picking Arno. what I think will win, not what I'd like to win, and I love silver linings. Did you so see you know. Robert De Niro uh, yeah. with the yes. gut-wrenching, yeah. tear-filled yes. description yeah. of silver yeah. linings playbook? Ca- wow. Yeah. 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 He's great. He's actor. a real tough guy, too. And to see him break down and cry hey, like that. Tough he guys wasn't cry, so much you know. there. You know, tough listen. guys even eat quiche. Yeah, you know, <laughs> tough guys just don't dance. That's a bumper sticker. Tough guys eat quiche. We just don't dance. That came from Chevy yeah. Chase. <laughs> That's great. Guys, stick around. We got some more great stuff coming up. Taking your calls, 800-336-2225. And what would be the final segment here of the PM Show with Larry and Nancy Minetti. We'll be back right after this.